So Learning Through Landscapes was set up 30 years ago with the aim of connecting children more with nature through their education. And we do that in lots of ways. So we do amazing projects like we're seeing today, but also things like we teach teachers to teach the curriculum outdoors. We just fundamentally believe that being outdoors every day is crucial to a child's development, but also is a really important way to engage them with the natural environment and therefore makes them more engaged in their education. So we started working with Learning Through Landscapes before Polygen started on one of the national projects with 12 schools in the city and we saw the real benefits of engaging with small steps which had a real impact. So then when we had this opportunity to work on a bigger project we jumped straight on board. So Polygen started 15 months ago and then over the last year we've been working with 24 schools, well 24 school groups in Leicester. And so we've put in thousands, 13,000 different types of bulbs, uh, about 50 different trees, 50 planters throughout the school grounds and community areas and uh, yeah equally so we've gone into like like this like local allotment areas or we've gone into mosques and supermarket uh, car parks and we've been making changes there. I've seen the enthusiasm from the young people themselves. I'm a big believer in get them when they're young. Um, but it hasn't been difficult at all. You know, they have wanted to be involved. And right from the beginning, they've had some amazing ideas themselves. So Polygen worked with us to um, create bee banks, for example. And the children themselves got to decide what they wanted to do, where they wanted to place them. We all discussed it. And they were the ones that kind of created them with our, you know, with us sort of supervising. But it was all them, really. Our school grounds are very plain. They're mainly grey tarmac. We don't really have any opportunities to develop that with the money that we've got. So an opportunity to change our grounds with a big pot of money that came along with it and the knowledge that the experts that have helped us uh, has made a massive impact. From the first session, they were never short of questions. Um, they've retained loads of the knowledge that they learned last year and have then applied when they've been actually doing the practical things this year uh, just yeah seeing them gain confidence and, and here today just seeing them being able to answer questions about how things germinate or how plants grow and about you know what are pollinators if you'd asked them that you know six twelve months ago they never ever would have been able to answer that and it links into so much of our curriculum and i think the community link as well has been really interesting so we linked up with um a community adventure playground which is like a big woodland um, which a lot of the children knew about but many had never visited and it was like a wonderland sort of going into a woodland that was on their doorstep that they'd never really seen or experienced. So as part of our engagement with the project we were given £700 funding which we could spend on the site and the children really drove those decisions about what they wanted to spend the money on and it was informed by what they'd learnt about pollinators and about how locally on saffron acres they're supporting the environment so they decided that they wanted to buy hundreds of bulbs to plant not only within our school site but also in the surrounding area and um, they they wanted to buy planters they also wanted to create a pond seeing the benefits it's going to have to our curriculum and their enthusiasm about why it's so important in terms of the pollinators they learnt about it, it's definitely a great decision this is our pond we bought for our money and we're growing four types of plants in it we've already got some water louse and snails in the pond um, which is actually quite good because it only just like we only started working on it like a few months ago. This is a bee bank where some where sanitary bees come to sleep in. So because sanitary bees need all the sleep they can get and they're not like regular bees. We we're excited to watch our pond grow through spring and summer. I'm so proud of the Polygen project. Being able to deliver a project of this scale in Leicester that was so affected by the pandemic is something that I'm just so proud of the team for achieving. But also the children, everything they have done, they have taken this project, they have made it their own. We've got children who have sat at home and their parents can't believe they're pointing out what's on their plate for dinner that's been produced by pollinators. Having that understanding as they grow up makes them more connected to their environment. But also as a consumer, they understand the food chain and all of this together really helps children when it comes to kind of understanding things like climate change and the little changes they can make that are going to make a huge difference to our planet if they become adults.